Mark Wallace here, um, a very youthful 53, and uh, I've been training since I took over the licence from Linda in 2005. So I've had 13 great years. Um, been fortunate enough to win the uh, Trainer of the Year title nine times and um, twice a Derby winner. And also um, um, we've got a couple of Oaks on there and five St Ledgers. So um, it's been a good, good 13 or 14 years since I took over. And, um, you know, we've won these uh, trainers' championship meeting twice, which uh, could have been a few more times, a couple of uh, near misses in the last few years. Um, but uh, the last time we won a memorable victory at Doncaster in 2010. Well, uh, I think everybody would um, agree that Bruce's bullet being quite prominent in the Derby betting would would be um, one of the first ones on the on the team sheet. And uh, although obviously it didn't quite happen for him at uh, Shawfield in the Scottish Derby, he's um, a dog that absolutely loves toaster. Um, as um, we can see last year, reaching the semi-final of the Derby and winning the um, um, supporting invitation race in in great style, like you know, and he's putting some particularly really good trials over the over the 480 um, in, in his preparation this year um, and, and he, he really is a, a dog that's well suited to toast. The likes of Black Farron has really come to the fore. If it was a month ago I wouldn't have put him in the side but he's suddenly done really well in Scotland and uh, um, I, I, you know he's a uh, high chance of making the team but uh, I'm also looking at the seedings because I think um, you know, there, there seems to be a lack of wides around, and I wonder tactically whether I'd be better off with, with maybe um, a, a wide seed in, in one of these divisions at least. That would bring in the likes of Ball Sports Duke, who's uh, contesting the track championship final this year, and he's a prolific wide running, strong running dog, almost guaranteed to score your points. Um, Ninja Fortune, who, who's also been running well at Toaster, and maybe one or two more that, that could pos possibly come into the equation. Obviously the six bend, I think probably another name that's first on the team sheet would be Ruby's Rascal, our St Ledger winner. Um, he seems to be in great form this year, um, has, has won really well recently at uh, Monmore and Sheffield. And he'd be first name on the team sheet um, for, the, for the six bends. The Division 2 is, again, I, I'm lucky enough to be sport for choice with the likes of Gary Glass Champ, Cincinnati, a Golden Jacket finalist. He, he even considered um, Roswell Roman enough moving him, him up, but he's not particularly a great toaster dog. So the sprint division, you know, almost a few weeks ago, I would automatically have put uh, Slow Down Sally in, but um, I wouldn't say she's gone right out of form, but she's not particularly been a, um, as prolific as she was last year uh, and in fact she was beaten um, in, in a real good top grade race by Tread Lightly the other week and, and on that basis Tread Lightly comes into the equation of making the team again a wide runner so that might help. Got a, a couple of puppies that have trialled in particularly well the last couple of weeks, um, the likes have all slick now. Uh, and mad about him, um, I may consider as well. Like, but um, again, that's one that I'll make a final decision on Monday. In the bitches, I was looking at two really. Whether we try Ruby's Razzle, who's coming out of season, um, she's in the track championship final, but obviously is better known for for going over further distances. Or the real nice early paced um, sort in Asha Karin. Who's, uh, who again has run well, um, did get knocked out of the track championship this week, but uh, um, uh, she's, she, she's, she's got such great early, she'd be difficult to lead up, so that might be key to me putting her in the bitches race rather than one that runs on strong. It goes without saying, of um, it's a massive team effort here at Imperial Kennels and uh, my full-time staff with, with my wife Sarah, um, we're lucky to have Sid and, and my son Daniel and, and Justine who are full-time uh, and then, of course, we, we, we can't forget Kevin, who, who, who does many miles travelling around um, with our trials and, and, and racing and, 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 and everything else and all our vets runs. And, of course, um, you know, without the part-time staff that we have here as well that help out Kira at um, Toaster Parading Our Dogs, um, Cat, Pete, Roy, my Uncle Ronnie, um, they're, they're all a big effort here. And a special mention to, to, to Linda Jones, you know, we, she, she, she offers great support to, our, to, to all of us here and is always there to help out. Uh, and uh, as we say, it's, it's just one big, huge team effort and uh, that's why we're in these Trainers' Championship meetings. The, the Trainers' Championship meetings um, bring back great memories, um, not just for myself, but obviously in years gone by. 
Um, Linda's famous victory at Walthamstow at a huge three-figured price um, was one of the best um, nights racing that, that I've ever had um, when I was a assistant trainer to Linda and uh, as Linda said it's never over to the fat lady sings and we came back from miles obviously roles reversed a couple of years ago when uh, myself had a seemingly unassailable lead and uh, Kevin Hutton come and won the last four races um, it produces brilliant racing brilliant um, um, for, for all the fans of ground racing and uh, over the years um, uh, has, has seen many great champions competing you know there's derby dogs in there oaks bitches um, future stars um, last year's race particularly with the likes of the Ridge's Wildcat and Bruiser's Bullet and you know you just get fabulous races and um, I think this year will be no different I think there's going to be some real class animals on show there and it should be a fabulous occasion.